Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So lots of news to cover. And first off, we're gonna start with updated alliance or season rewards, new defensive tactics, and everything around it. Now, first big thing that we definitely do need to mark is that the BAM is adding tier six class catalyst fragment crystals to alliance or season rewards and uh, that is quite a big deal because it's the first reoccurring content and it's happening quite early on it's also nice to see that they're adding these rewards before they're selling them like they typically did with tier 5 basics and tier 5 class catalyst crystals and uh, that's definitely going to be quite interesting twist of events however when we look at the amounts of tier 6 class catalyst uh, fragments they're adding basically anybody but first and second spots don't really well first three spots i'd say um don't really get a noticeable amount if you consider that you need uh, three catalysts of these and uh, this is 10 percent in total still a nice trend to see so i do want to give you props there and uh, we're gonna cover rest of the rewards changes in just a bit but before that we also do have updated uh tactics we have the unsteady ground which is going to revolve all around glancing and additionally each debuff on the attacker gives their attacks 10 20 or 30 percent chance to glance now this will make some matchups absolutely crazy because you can't kind of escape getting debuffed a ton against a lot of these champions and the problem is some of these purification champions are also based on landing their attacks for instance like shang chi if you glance his uh she purifying strike then she doesn't purify i assume so it's gonna be interesting to see how that meta works out but uh yeah every time defender will use special attack you will get a glancing debuff placed on you for x amount of seconds plus you will have additional chance to glance for each debuff on you here are the champions that will count that anti-venom looks quite dreadful then we have human torch invisible woman joe fix it spider ham they added quake in there mr fantastic immortal Omnation. And you get the point champions that typically place quite a lot of debuffs on you so we'll see how that works out but for the next season we still have in the expert map conduit defensive tactic and sick and tired offensive tactic so that does not change however challenger maps will start to be able to use unsteady ground on top of mystic dispersion and conduit as well now the blacklisted champions for upcoming season spider-man 2099 so a lot more of the bosses will be saved from bully spider-man and also ghost now is blacklisted however human torch is moving to the whitelist and so is hercules so uh human torch is going to have a free reign in the alliance for map so it's going to be quite interesting to see how that looks and then on challengers it's only spider-man human torch there are quite a few node changes i'm not going to go through all of them some of them do look slightly scary i'm not gonna lie uh but we always need to test these out because initially you know we might be overestimating the level of difficulty for instance when they released path three nodes on the previous season it looked quite hard but then they released hulkling and gallon and they just absolutely nuked down everything there so I'm not going to comment too much on the node changes themselves, but we do need to take a look at the rewards changes. And there is a huge and massive rewards increase to a point where top alliance, so master one, gets three full tier three alphas, three full tier six basics, half a tier six last catalyst crystal, 50,000 six star shards, two six star nexus crystals, two full tier 5 cc's five tier 5 basics but obviously the most important thing is rank 4 materials but rank 4 materials specifically actually look quite encouraging even to the lower tiers because even as low as platinum 4 will get half a tier 3 alpha half a tier, C, tier 6 basic and platinum 2 gets a full catalyst for the season so i think these rank rewards definitely seem to be much better especially if you can take war semi-seriously something like that land somewhere in plat 1 plat 2 plat 3 and you know up to 1.5 or 75 percent of each of these catalysts um with this with those 40 percent revives using your loyalty sparingly plus then being able to shop in the loyalty store as well 
I do think Alliance War has just now become officially much, much more desirable as a game mode. And uh, unfortunately, as a side effect, kind of further leaves the Balgans in the dust. Uh, we can leave that as is. But Alliance War definitely seems to be worth playing because at a serious level, if you use your loyalty, and now it also can offset that loyalty cost because previously, let's say, if you managed to save a million loyalty throughout the season, you could buy half a tier 3 alpha, half a tier 6 basic. But now if you finish in Masters or Plat 1, you get much, much, much more than that. So I do think that now this Alliance War Seasons reward update again has made it so that it's worth spending some, if not most, of your loyalty to actually try and play war and get these rewards. Obviously, they also increased amounts of six star class nexuses, doubled basically for the masters and above, and uh, increased how far the six star nexuses go, and also making these class nexuses makes them a lot more alluring when it comes to helping you hunt for specific champions. Addition of more tier 5 class catalyst fragments, quite awesome. And uh, yeah, I do like that. I will see how. And the coolest thing that I think Shabam did here is that they actually made promise to update Alliance War rewards more frequently, but without as big of a jump. So let's say we could probably expect another Alliance War Season Reward update in like three months. Not as drastic as this one, just kind of like top off to reflect how the game actually looks like. Obviously it's Kabam, so we need to keep a very, very close eye on that. Because, you know, it's one of those I'll believe it when I see type of situations. But it would be a much better system where they update these rewards every two or three seasons incrementally. So they keep up with the meta because current season, the just finished season 36, rewards were criminally outdated to a point where they were effectively largely meaningless when it comes to rank 4 materials compared to cavi Q, compared to side events everywhere else. Because all other aspects of game could just give you so much more of these rank 4 materials. So hopefully they keep these rewards fresh, keep them updated again every couple of months, and uh, we never, never, ever, ever end up in a situation like Alliance for Season 36. Let me know what you guys think. I haven't done a full side-by-side -side comparison. I might do that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. So yeah. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the